Hello, my YouTube listeners. I'm back again. God still speaks through visions and dreams, does he not? He does. He's still speaking through visions and dreams. Um, I want to say Jesus Christ is about to return, people. Let us be ready. Okay? Forever blessed I am, Yeshua HaMashiach. Forever blessed I am, Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, I want to talk to you again today about something that God um, revealed to me through dreams. Um, I want to say, first of all, I want to thank my YouTube listeners. I want to thank you all for subscribing. And because this has really helped me to be, this, is, this has emboldened me even more to speak. These, these subjects and the things that I'm, I talk on mostly is not something you're going to hear speak talk talked about in the church in a church circle okay uh, uh, it's just something that I don't know I guess it's just not befitting for a church um, group you know I guess I don't know but anyway this is for you all who are interested in this stuff okay um, I know I've always been just had a, a more a deeper desire for a deeper understanding for God's word you know uh, so and um, over the years God revealed his word to me through dreams and visions okay now of course there are a lot of people they are having dreams and visions and uh, you know if they don't 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 line up with the word of God of course then don't receive them okay okay but what I'm gonna talk to you about is uh, I left I spoke to you about the crowns five crowns except one and somebody wrote me uh, a couple of days ago and told me I had not spoken on this particular crown which is the crown of life I thought I had covered that but I hadn't so I'm going to talk to you about the crown of life, okay? The crown of life. And I'm going to explain this to you the way God explained it to me. He explained it to me in a very simple way. And so I could understand it. I'm not a very complex complex man at all. You know, and uh, so I'm just going to explain it to you the way he explained it to me. It's very simple. Okay, um, as I said earlier, uh, you want your crowns, okay? There will be people that's going to be saved. They will enter into paradise without any rewards, okay? Um, but you want your rewards. You want your crowns. But if you make it to heaven... Or you like the like the thief on the cross that was being crucified with Jesus? He made it into paradise without any rewards. If you make it into paradise without any rewards, with no rewards, that will be that will still be better than anything you could get here on this earth. Okay, it doesn't matter how much money you have on this earth, how many servants you have, how much many how nice your home is or whatever even you even in if you were in really good excellent health that still wouldn't compare with you being in paradise with no rewards okay being in paradise with no no rewards is better than anything you can experience here on earth that's how good it is okay but god has went a lot further than that he has given us opportunity to um, gain rewards okay okay so <clears throat> now what I'm going to talk to you about is the crown of life you want your crowns okay you want your crowns your crowns your crowns are going to put you at the very top okay you will rule and reign with Christ uh, just like Christ uh, you will be one with Christ <clears throat> okay um, with those crowns with those crowns he's going to give you uh, uh, the authority to do and to be 
or to make things as you as you will. Okay, you will rule as kings and queens. Okay? So you want your crowns. Strive for your crowns. Alright? Now I'm gonna try not to drag this video out. I try not to. But you want your crowns, and what I'm gonna talk to you about today is your crown of life. You want your crown of life. Okay. Uh, now, uh, again, I used to think that your crowns, when the Bible talked about your crowns, it was only speaking about something that you wore on your head. You know, the diadem and the, uh, the, the golden metal thing with the jewels in it and everything. But this crown is not something that you necessarily wear on your head, even though I believe it will, you will have one. Okay, I believe you will have a crown of life that you can actually wear on your head. But this crown of life will be because there are so many different kinds of crowns in, once in, you get into heaven. You, your own hair is actually a type of a crown in heaven. Okay, Once you get to heaven, your own hair will be a type of a crown, a kind of a crown. Because um, I've seen it. I've seen there, there were people in heaven, their hair was so beautiful their hair itself was a type of a crown. Uh, and you know, the uh, 24 elders took their crowns off and threw it down at the feet of Jesus. Okay, so the, that, that's another type of crown. I also saw crowns that look like, uh, uh, they look kind of like just hats. You know, like a hat that you put on your head. Okay, but this crown here is something that is going to be intrinsic in your personality. Okay, it's going to be within your built within your person. It's not something that you're going to be wearing on your head. This crown, the crown of life, is going to be built within your body, within your person. Okay. Now, the way you receive this crown of life is through enduring temptations. Okay, you must endure temptations. You must pass the test. Okay. Now we know in this society that there's a lot of sexual temptations a lot i mean you, if you turn the tv on for just 10 seconds i guarantee you somebody's going to say something that that is going to be uh, alluding to sex in some kind of way you turn the radio on you get the same thing okay it's a lot of sexual temptations in this world especially in this country Okay, so if you endure temptation, you will receive this crown of life. Okay, so we have to uh, endure it. So it's not really it's not really hard to receive the crown of life. Um, if you endure temptation, you re you can, you can receive it. Okay, and this crown now, what this crown is going to do, it's going to give you supernatural ability, physical ability. Excuse me. That's what the crown of life is going to do. You remember I told you about the crown of glory. The crown of glory is going to give you the power to duplicate things. Duplicate jewelry, duplicate clothes, duplicate automobiles. Just duplicate, uh, multiply things. So uh, to give you the, the crown of glory will give you the ability to uh, uh, change your hairstyle, your eye color, your, you know, make yourself more beautiful and whatever you want. That's the crown of glory. The crown of rejoicing is going to, uh, that crown will give you the ability to make music with your body, okay? Okay, the uh, crown of rejoicing will give you the ability to make music with your body. Your body will become a walking orchestra. You will have every instrument in your body. Your body will sound like a 10,000 watt stereo. You will be able to make music with your body. Uh, not only that, you will have um, everything that comes with music. I don't care if you can you can make a stage up here. You can make performers behind you. They will be behind you. You will make uh, you will have the tapestry that will appear around you. You know how people be waving the flags and stuff. You will have that stuff without without anybody doing that for you. You will have the lights flashing. You will have everything that comes with entertainment, singing on a stage. Your body, you will have the ability to create those things, okay, out of nothing. That will be the crown of rejoicing. And the way you receive that crown is through soul winning. Okay, and the way you receive the crown of glory, let me back up a little bit. I forgot how you receive the crown of glory. I think, uh, I think that's the shepherd's crown, I believe. 
I believe. Okay, but now you receive the crown of glory through soul winning. And then there's the incorruptible crown. The incorruptible crown will give you the ability to create. You will have the ability to create things. Um, you will have the ability to create things. And there's some other things you can do with the crown, the incorruptible crown. I can't remember exactly what, what they were. But look on my video about the incorruptible crown. And I explained a lot things about the incorruptible crown but the incorruptible crown will give you the ability to create life and to create things you will be able to create animals or whatever you will be able you play a part you will play a part in creating uh, uh, if there are planets that's going to be created or recreated or regenerated you will play a part in that in doing that uh, bringing in new species to the planet species of animals or plants to the planet you play a part of that. That 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 will be the incorruptible crown. Uh, the other crown is the crown of righteousness. The crown of righteousness will give you uh, the power. With the crown of righteousness, you can make no mistake. Okay, with the crown of righteousness, you can make no mistake. You can't do anything wrong. Uh, everything you do will be right. Uh, there will be nothing that ah. reward ah. rewards of life okay now some people I saw some people in paradise they did not look like they had a crown of life okay they were not sad okay they were not sad or depressed looking but they didn't have that bubbling overwhelming happiness they didn't have it they was just there and they they were satisfied okay but they didn't have the the overwhelming happiness like a person who have abundant life or a crown of life okay when my mother passed I heard her in heaven I heard her laughing so loud I have never heard her laugh as loud as I heard her then well she had probably a crown of life okay she probably had her crown of life but there are some people going to be saved they're not going to have a crown of life they're just going to be saved with a with eternal life okay and with eternal life, they'll be happy. They'll be able. They'll be able to. Uh, they have strength, okay. But a person with a crown of life, he will have more strength, okay. Because the more life you have, just like the more the closer you get to death, the less you have. The more you move into life, the more you have. The more strength you have, the more uh, the, your senses are are heightened far more than what they are now. See, a person with a crown of life, I mean, a person with eter just eternal life, he, he can see much better than, say, I can with just earthly life. He can see uh, a lot of things much better, much better than... I remember God allowed me to experience this. I was in a vision. I was in a dream once. I, I don't want to call it. I don't like calling, calling these things dreams. I was in an experience once where I was look like I may have been, I don't know, anywhere from a mile to five miles from this man. I could see this man, let's say five miles. I could see this man, he was laying down on his couch or somewhere in his home. I could see the pimple on his face and I was miles away from him. Okay, I was miles away because I had a crown of life. Okay, the more life you got, the better you'll be able to see, the better you able, you're able to hear. If you have a cr crown of life, you'll be able to see from here to the other side of the universe. You will be able to see a, a grain pebble on another planet in another galaxy. But a person with just eternal life, he won't be able to see that far. Okay? Now, with a person with no life, he can't see it all. Right? Okay, see, that's, that's how God explained this to me. And that's right. It is right. This is absolutely right. So when you receive a crown of life, 
you are at the very top. You have everything that comes with life. Not only can you see better than anybody else, you can, not only can you see through walls, not only can you stand on the on stand on the ground, stand right here on the planet, and look down into the earth and see whatever's down there. Not only can you see from here um, across the galaxy, but you can see to the other end of the universe with a crown of life. You can hear any distance. It doesn't matter how far. You will be able to hear what is going on with you, with you have a crown of life. Not only that. But a crown of life will cause you to enjoy things far more than a person with just eternal life or abundant life. Okay? Uh, a person with just e eternal life, uh, he may not enjoy the things that he uh, experienced as much as you will. Okay? With, with a crown of life, you will enjoy everything immensely, greatly. See? Everything will be super fun with a crown of life. I mean, think about it. You remember when you were kids, how you enjoyed things so much better than when you did when you got older. Why? Because as you get older, you move toward death. And, and death is a uh, depression. Depression and sadness and melancholy and all that stuff is a part of death. And as we get older, sometimes we lose that uh, child-like uh, uh, happiness that God gave us and because as we near death but see but as you near life and move further into life eternal life you get that back and more you enjoy everything everything feels wonderful emotionally emotionally everything is feel wonderful so even even in the area of love making of course you all know I, I, I say I believe that we will we will have companions in the millennial reign and even in paradise you will have companions you will have soulmates you will have there will be love making and romance in paradise and in the millennial reign okay or, or sexual uh copulation but as you know as we near death watch my hand down there as we near death we lose interest in that stuff okay and our body doesn't function and it doesn't feel the same because we are, first of all, we're in a body of death. We were born in a body of death. But as we move further into life, uh, uh, sex or uh, love making, romance, it will be wonderful beyond imagination, believe me. Okay? It will be the, the, the pleasure of romance and love making will be uh, wonderful beyond imagination. The further you move into life, the more life you have. Now, that crown means you're going to be complete with life. You will be perfect. You will have everything that comes with life. Okay. Now, a person that just receives uh, eternal life, he won't have as much as you. Okay. For instance, a person with just eternal life, uh, you know, in our new bodies, we'll be able to run very fast. We'll be able to jump very high. We'll be able to do a lot of things. Uh, we'll be supermen, superwomen. But a person with a crown of life, not only will he be able to run 80, 90 miles an hour. I, I, I was in an experience once where I was, I found myself running 88 miles an hour. And after I, after 88 miles an hour, I actually took flight. Okay. Well, with a person with just eternal life, he won't be, probably won't be able to run that fast. Okay. He won't be able to run as fast as me. He won't be able to, uh, uh, um. Uh, jump as high as me. He won't be as strong as I am, okay? Because he won't have the full measure of life, but he will have eternal life, okay? But he won't have the full measure of life. A person with a crown of life will have the full measure of life, okay? So you want your crown of life. You'll be able. To, you'll be a superwoman, Superman, okay? The real Superman, and Superwomen, are not here yet. Um, We've had a few in the past, and of course, Jesus Christ, he was definitely, he is definitely one. He is super, super man. Okay, but we are not, we will not uh, be the weaklings that we are now. Okay, we will not be the weaklings that we are now. You, with the crown of life, you will be very strong, like Samson. Okay, or greater. Okay. So 
you want your crown of life. Okay, because, uh, you know, I, I, uh, many times in these experiences, God would allow me to experience, in the millennial reign, we're just going to be racing each other just to see who can run the fastest, see who can jump the highest. We'll be doing this stuff like kids. You know, sometimes we, sometime we'll be acting like kids, you know, just like, because we're going to have a life in us again. We'll enjoy riding bicycles. You know, a lot of people... I, I don't enjoy riding bicycles like I used to, but I'll enjoy it again once again. I'll enjoy doing some things that I used to, that I used to do when I was a kid, because I will have crown. I will have life in me once again. I will have, and even um, you will not be experiencing depression or sadness or anything like that. As I said, the I saw some people in paradise. They did not have. A, they didn't seem to have a crown of life, but they wasn't. Ha they wasn't sad. They wasn't depressed or anything like that, but they just didn't have that extreme, that overflowing joy or happiness. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but uh, the person with the crown of life, you're going to have it all. You're going to have everything to come with the crown of life. Um, and you will be able to jump high, run fast, see very far, hear everything, anything you want to hear. And if you don't want to hear it, you'll be able to shut it out. But anything you want, you'd be able to see from one end of the universe to the other if you want to. Okay, you'll be able to uh, appear from one place to another if you want to. That crown of life is going to give you uh, great physical abilities. All right. Not only that, not only will the crown of life uh, give you physical abilities, but did you know that um, when you're in your spiritual bodies, I think I, I, I explained talked a little bit about this in my other videos all the colors that you see around you everything that has color all colors have flavor okay and what I mean by that is uh, just looking at you know now we just look at a color and that's all we see we look at green we just see green that's it but in your new body when you get the crown of life you can taste the color green in your entire being Okay, it has a flavor. Same with red, same with white. All of it has a flavor. All of it has a fragrance. All those colors have flavor and fragrances. Okay, they all have meaning. Everything, when you receive your crown of life, everything has meaning and significance. Okay, it's not just a color. It's not just a rock anymore. It's not just dirt anymore. Everything has deep meaning and, and deep purpose. OK, so even uh, color, color will be your colors will be uh, will have flavor to them. You actually be able to taste uh, if you look at a color, you would be able to taste that flavor because the Bible said, you know, right now we are not perfect and complete. We're not entire. OK, we're not entire right now. We're not complete. We're not perfect. But when we are perfect and entire and complete, we will not we will not be lacking anything we will not be missing anything we will not only will we see colors but we will taste colors we will taste them in our in our soul not only will we hear music but we will taste music okay you can actually taste music music has a very sweet taste to it this good music does okay um, not only will you uh, be able to uh, see for, but you'll be able to see through things with the crown of life. Okay? So you want your crown of life. You want to endure your temptations because this is how you're going to receive your crown of life. And who don't want to be Superman or Superwoman? I, I know I do. I would like to run, be able to run really fast. And we will be doing that in the millennial reign. We will be running fast, going places, uh, you know, just for the fun. And you'll never get tired. That's another thing. You will not be tired. Okay, because you will have a crown of life. That crown of life will give you all the energy and vigor and all the uh, power you need when you receive that crown. But someone that does not receive the crown of life, only receives eternal life, they may not run as fast. They may not run as long. Okay, but uh, they will be able to do something. Okay, so you want your crown of life. Now, 
So now we want everybody to be faithful unto death. Jesus Christ in Revelation, I think it is. Revelation, Revelation 2 and 10 encourages the church to be faithful unto death, even though they're going to suffer some uh, tribulations in the, uh, some trials in the, in, in the tribulation. But he encourages them to hang on and, and go through their trials, go through their tests. And remember, the Bible said that God has not allowed, will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able, but will provide a way of escape. In other words, yes, we are tempted all day long. We are tempted, uh, again, especially with sexual things. Um, but God said, I will provide a way of escape with the temptation. OK, so in other words, uh, he will do something or give you to do something that will give, help you get through that temptation. Okay. Now, um, I hope this, I hope this helps you understand more about the crown of life. Okay. The more life you have, the more you can do, the more energy you have, the better you'll be able to see the more life, the better you'll be able to see, the better you'll be able to hear, the, the better you'll feel on the inside. That's the crown of life. It's the opposite of death. Death, the less life you have, the closer you are to death, the less you can see, the less you can hear, the less, no senses, none of your senses are functioning. There's no strength in your body with when you are in death. But in life, it's just the opposite. You have all the strength you need, all the vigor and power you need. Um, so, uh, and let's, let's just do it, endure our testings people let's endure our testings uh because you know what i believe i believe that when jesus christ get ready to uh, um come and punish the evil doors and take his people i believe it's going to be a sudden thing i believe things are going to be going just the way it's going right now everything looks okay everything is going pretty smooth but suddenly bam it's going to change and people are going to be leaving here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. Because there is, there will be harvesting of humans. We know that from the Bible. There will be, the angels are going to harvest the earth. We know that. We have read that in the Bible in Revelation and Matthew. The angels are going to harvest the earth. There will be a harvesting of humans. In other words, there are going to be lots of people dying at once. Okay? And this is going to be during the tribulation. And we're going to have all sorts of things that's going to be taking people out of here. So just be ready. I mean, but, but you know, we could be, I could be out of here tomorrow, today. I don't know. You know, I hope not, though. But I want my crown of life. I want all my crowns. And I hope you get yours, too. Because if you don't get your crown of life and I have mine, I'm going to outrun you. I'm going to outrun you. So you're going to be trying to catch up with me and I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be doing 80, 90 miles an hour. And you're just going to be back here doing maybe 30, 35. See, because you won't have your crown of life. You got to get your crown of life and do your temptations. Okay. And do your temptations and you will get your crown of life. And win some souls, you get your crown of rejoicing. Okay. Remember what the crown of rejoicing is like. Okay. You can make music, all kind of music, any kind of music, whatever kind of music. I mean anything you could imagine about music and 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 the thing about music in the in the uh in the millennial reign and in paradise the music is much 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 more enjoyable than here it is much more enjoyable i mean i just pray to god you can experience the happiness and joy that you have listening to music there versus here so I advise everybody, study up on your crowns. You want your rewards. You don't want to lose your rewards. The Bible tells us also, don't let no man, don't let no man steal your rewards or cause you to lose your rewards or your crown, I think it is. Your crown. See, people can make you, they can make you miss, lose your crown. Okay, like, um, like Jacob and Esau. Jacob lost his crown. I mean, Esau lost his crown. So did, um, so did Adam. Listen to Satan. Uh, Job would have lost his if he had to listen to his wife, but he didn't listen to his wife. People will make you lose your crown. Don't let people make you lose your crown. Don't let them talk you into doing something that is just wrong. Okay? 
Now, if you if you doing something wrong, if you're doing something wrong, ask God to forgive you and ask him to give you strength to stop. OK, and if you if you find if you're finding it hard to stop doing what is wrong, then confess your sins to God. Lord, Lord, I'm doing what is wrong. Please give me if you confess it. see if you confess the sin to him, then he he got you covered. He can co keep you covered. See, you are in there then. But if you if the Bible said if you hide your sins, you won't prosper. OK, that's found in the book of Proverbs somewhere. If you had your sins, you won't prosper. Don't hide your sin from God. Say, Lord, I, you know, I, I'm, I've been doing wrong. This is not right. Would you please forgive me and, and give me strength to do better? Okay. I know there are more temptations ahead of me. I know it is. But I'm determined to pass those tests. I'm determined. Uh, uh, some of y'all, it's not always sex. Some of y'all want to smack somebody. You know what I'm saying? But don't smack them. You know, pass that test. Put your arms around them and say, you know, it's all right. Even though they might have, they may have uh, assaulted you or insulted you in some way, or offended you in some way. Just, just love them, okay? And you get your, you receive your crown. You want your crown, people. There's gonna be a lot of people in heaven, in paradise, without their crowns. That's good, though. You know, I'm glad they just saved. I'm glad anybody's saved, man. I don't want nobody to go to that place. But get your crown. Good to go to hell, I mean. But get your crown and so we can we can have us a race and we can see who's the fastest, okay? And this is going to be fun, man. I'm telling you, millennial reign is going to be a lot of fun. I wish, I pray to God, everybody that's listening to me, I pray that God will give you a glimpse of the millennial reign. You know, um... God allowed me to experience a little bit of paradise. Paradise is so wonderful. If you could just feel the wind, just the wind blowing from paradise, it will heal you. Just the wind blowing from there will heal any emotional hurt you ever had. It will just heal you. It will heal your mind. If you've got any... any uh, experiencing any stress, confusion, any that... Just the wind, just the sight of paradise will heal all of that. That's just how wonderful it is over there. That's how wonderful, that's the reward God has for us. Okay, so I hope this helped you on the crown of life. The more life you have, the more physical abilities you will have. Okay, the less life you have, the closer you are to death. It's just as simple the less you can do. The more life you have, the more you can do physically. The better you can see, the better you can smell, the better you can taste, the more, uh, the better you can hear, um, uh, the better you feel emotionally, uh, the stronger you are, the more life you have. Okay, so that's the crown of life. So thank you for listening. Um, I believe there is a crown of victory. I'm going to look over that and see. I believe it is. But I believe the crown of victory. All that means is all that means is when you you will have conflict and and confrontations with um, uh, people and angels and devils and and all that means you're gonna you you got the victory. You'll be able to whoop behind whoop butt real good. That's all. That's all that's saying. You won't lose a fight. You're not gonna lose a battle because you have the crown of victory. Okay, but there is a crown of victory. And you will win every conflict and confrontation you run you run into. That's all that means. Okay. So, hey man, thanks. I'm glad you all uh, subscribe to my channel, man. It's really been encouraging because what what I'm talking about here is kind of well. Let me say it like this: It was I was really kind of embarrassed, too embarrassed to share this stuff with people because. The church doesn't seem interested, you know, but uh, to me, it's like this is something that's really different. And I, I don't have no doubt that God has given me this stuff. But I'm glad there's somebody out there like you that is interested and this is blessing you. I'm glad of that. OK, so God still speak, speak through visions and dreams. Yes, he does. Jesus Christ is soon to return. Let us be ready, people. Forever blessed, I am Yeshua HaMashiach.
Forever blessed I am, Yeshua HaMashiach.